Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. Today we are conquering one of my personal fiber heroes, Ingle Nook. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so stay tuned. So Ingle Nook is one of those iconic, super intense, you have to set your alarm to get one of their things on update day because otherwise you're just out of luck kind of a maker. Um, these ladies are orthodox nuns and they have a talent for color and texture. Like, if you've not looked them up, I mean, what are you doing with your life? Links down below, go do that thing because it's gonna blow your mind, right? <laughs> The first time I saw them, I literally was speechless. They were amazing and continue to be amazing. So I've wanted to get some other fiber for a really long time. But like I said, you pretty much have to have an alarm to get it. So I got lucky and I got some of their fiber and it was so beautiful in real life. I also got one of their bat in a braids, which a, I thought that was brilliant, right? A bat and a braid. They do these custom fiber blends where they have really unique fibers. Mine had flax in it. Um, you'll see more when I get to the unboxing portion of this video. Um, and at first I was like, this is a cool thing. I really love comb top, right? right? But then when I got it and I started spinning it, I really saw the bat and the braid concept come to life. The way they executed it really did feel like I was spinning a bat with the different textures and the color nuances. It was super cool. Um, and the braids are easier to snag than the bats. So if you get a braid, don't feel like you've missed out because they have a very similar vibe to the bats. Okay, so this particular spin, I wanted to try and kind of hone my um, ingle nookiness and go for a semi-solid gradient situation while also honoring myself and taking things apart. <laughs> so you'll see during the prep, and then if you're a Patreon patron, I go over it in the voiceover, how I did this, how I arranged it, how I pulled out some of the comb top to get it to line up, and I did weigh them to make sure they were roughly the same weight. So in this first video, we'll spend the first half, and then the second video, we'll spend the second half, and the third video, we'll ply and talk about how it went. So without further ado, let's get into spinning that first half. Okay, so here we are opening this fantastic thing. I am delighted <laughs> to show you these. The bat and the braid is gorgeous. Sea balloons and then the sock bats as well in rock candy. Now, as you notice, they're about an ounce off. But look at the colors, oh my goodness. Do you even see that? Do you see the texture in there? That silk and that flax, that's doing a sexy dance on there. Oh, and one of the things I love the most is their color theory is so incredibly on point that it invokes such organic, realistic feelings when you look at it and you hold it it's not got a lot of crazy texture it's 100 percent a play on color and light and I, it's amazing i mean i feel like you can see in the way that they create these that these women have a history of iconography like the orthodox church just if you're not familiar with it, just Google these. I believe they're Greek Orthodox. Just Google Greek Orthodox or Eastern Orthodox, any of the Orthodox churches, and then you'll be able to see the the incredible craftsmanship that goes into their icons. Um, it's literally a religious devotion to capture color and light in this way. And I, I think that leaks through, maybe I'm romanticizing it, but I think that leaks through onto their fiber because that's, that's what I feel when I see it, that these women have taken fiber dyeing and they have infused it with thousands of years of enthusiasm about texture and color and light. So anyway, um, I, I pulled that sort of coppery, pinky, orangey part out. 
and because it didn't have something that was similar in the sock bats. Also, um, as you know, there was a weight difference. So I was trying to kind of minimize that. Um, spoiler alert, um, I should have weighed a little bit better or spun a little bit better or something because there was some strange lining up at the end, but you'll see that. <laughs> you'll see that when we get there. But anyhow, so I'm just taking these apart and I'm setting them out freehand and you can see the process I go through just kind of matching and moving here and there and um, I didn't speed this part up because I wanted to show really authentically how I do this thing. And then um, I'm not sure if I take a photo of it or not. Um, in, in the video, I definitely do. Um, one of the things that I do is I check to see the weight of the color and the way that you do that is you take a black and white photograph and the weight, like the darkness of the blacks and the grays will give you the weight of the color. So um, I did a video in the past which I will link down below and I'm due for another one where I really explain weight. And that's where I'm like, did I do this enough? No, so you didn't see me take a picture. What I did was I took a picture and I ended up changing, I think one around, and then I saved that picture in color onto my phone so that way I didn't forget what the uh, arrangement was. I put them in a bag in rows, but it was a plastic bag and I just wanted to make sure that I knew for sure what was going on. As far as the spin goes, um, the bats drafted really nicely. Um, I felt like they definitely wanted to be sort of a thinner, thinner, oh that's a hard word to say, thinner single, as you can see here. But they weren't particularly pushy in one way or the other. They just flowed, they glided nicely. I feel like I could have gone even thinner or thicker and had it work out pretty well. You guys know that I tend to just let the fiber speak and kind of nudge it towards one direction or the other, but I don't have a lot of marriage towards one weight. Uh, that's just not how I spin. So <laughs> as I'm spinning this, you'll see that I work on it but I don't I don't really force it so this is the way that I think the fiber wanted to be for me so I'm curious do you guys have that experience do you feel like the bat or the top tells you what it wants to do <laughs> I think a lot of beginner spinners actually spend quite a bit of time wrestling with their fiber when indeed they should select a prep that fits what they want and then spend less time fighting at the wheel. That's my philosophy. Um, and even then you don't, the fiber preps in a certain way that it wants to be. <laughs> and then you follow that. I don't know, maybe I'm way too hippy dippy, but, oop, okay, so I accidentally flashed the camera. So I don't remember what I was saying. Happy World Breastfeeding Week. Uh, you were spared a good old fashioned flash, but. <laughs> Uh, yes. Anyway, so I was waxing poetic about uh, going with the flow of fiber prep and stuff and not fighting at the wheel. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the music and let you enjoy this. I know this voiceover is not super long, but I think I really expressed kind of already how I was feeling about the fiber in a behind the scenes way that I didn't express in the introduction. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you guys that would um, increase value to this voiceover. <laughs> hmm. There are two more parts coming out and I did film an unboxing but unfortunately the maker kind of changed their requirements for the unboxing. So rather than walk into a bit of a professional strife, I chose not to air that. Um, so I think the next video I do will be a knitting update because I have a couple of hand spun hand knit projects 
on my needles right now, and that's pretty exciting. Um, oh, as I'm spinning these, you can see that I have stripped them down, and I found that that was really the best way to spin them. I'm really into spinning them well, them, any of the fiber. A lot of the fiber I've worked with the last few weeks, I've enjoyed kind of the low key of stripping it down. Um, I don't know, it just feels really relaxing to do it this way. You don't have to think as much. The drafting is very straightforward. If you're working with something that you can do that, um, and you're struggling with drafting, or you just want something really relaxing, I definitely suggest this. I hadn't necessarily done the stripping down method. I don't know why. I wasn't really ideologically opposed to it when I hadn't done it before. And I think that it definitely creates a more gentle and um, kind of meditative experience. I was gonna say mindless. It's not mindless, it's just, subconscious perhaps is a better way to say it so yeah that's another little tip there is if you want to add some more subconsciousness to your spinning you can do that also look at that stain on my shirt that's great <laughs> that really adds some atmospheric joy there <laughs> I think with that note I am going to let the music take over and let you enjoy this in peace and I will see you on the other side.
okay, so wasn't that good? Like, you saw the prep and you saw the first half of this fan and it was Oh, the colors and the texture are just so freaking good, right? The camera cannot even capture how great this is. Um, all of the hype worth it, all of the hype worth it. So I hope you enjoy that. And I'm gonna talk more on the next video of kind of my thought process and where I was going with this. But right now, I'm gonna be honest, my camera battery is about to die. And yeah, so. <laughs> Catch me back next week. I'll be more talky, right? So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to catch these shenanigans, hit the subscribe button. And as per usual, this video is brought to you by our Patreon people. If you want to be a Patreon people in return for cool perks like the voiceover versions of these videos or recipe cards, you can follow the links down below. And if you are in the market for a wheel, I am a dealer for what I consider the best spinning wheel company. And I'm not just saying that, I've tried lots of them. I really do like these guys best. Spin Illusion. Um, you can follow the links down below. Hit me up with questions or snag the wheel that you've been looking for and I would be delighted to have your support in that way. So until next time, I will see you again with a fuller battery. Bye!